Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Joy Reid just got run over by the Trump train. Instantly regrets everything. Despite a series of hateful and anti-Semitic blog posts on her old website, The Reid Report, along with the surfacing of additional offensive content, MSNBC has refused to fire embattled host Joy Reid. MSNBC instead released a statement claiming Reid's views have evolved and the writings no longer reflect who she is as a person. The statement reads, Some of the things written by Joy on her old blog are obviously hateful and hurtful. They are not reflective of the colleague and friend we have known at MSNBC for the past seven years. Joy has apologized publicly and privately and said she has grown and evolved in the many years since, and we know this to be true. What is more than slightly troubling about this statement from MSNBC is Reid lied about homophobic blog posts she made, blaming them on hackers, only to find that the original posts were archived by archive.org and the Library of Congress. Reid issued third, and apparently final, apology for her old posts, which included a photoshopped image of Senator John McCain's head over the Virginia Tech GN. She stated of her writings, There are things I deeply regret and am embarrassed by things I would have said differently and issues where my position has changed. Many other establishment media outlets covering the story note that all three of Reid's apologies as well as MSNBC's many statements on the topic fail to address her prior, widely disbelieved claims that her old blog was hacked and that the matter was under FBI investigation. That Reid is clearly a liar should be a matter of serious issue particularly in journalism where credibility is part of the job description. Given President Donald Trump's personal penchant for denouncing fake news loudly and publicly one would think the network would be working to distance themselves from Reid and attempting to re-establish their own credibility within the journalistic community. The questions raised by the Reid debacle extend beyond mere ethics in journalism, however, shedding light on the sheer hypocrisy of the progressive left. It demonstrates the remarkable tolerance for bigots, misogynists, and those who celebrate them so long as that tolerance helps advance the progressive agenda of the current moment. The Federalist reports of how Reid found herself under fire for a 2006 post promoting the notorious 9-11 Truth or documentary Loose Change. Yet polling during the aughts consistently showed that somewhere between one-third and one-half of Democrats were open to some form of trutherism. In 2009, film producer and progressive blogger activist Jane Hampshire wrote that many progressive leaders shared this view. On this despicable score. Reid does not appear to be some great outlier among the left. Reid is also catching flack for a 2007 blog post that contained a photoshopped image of Senator John McCain's head pasted onto the body of the Virginia Tech Mass SR. The post, however, did not seek to tie McCain to that incident. The post's title was Baghdad John Strikes Again and criticized his comment at a weapons factory that he would follow Osama bin Laden to the gates of hell and shoot him with the factory's products, he later walked back the latter claim. Reid's point headed into the 2008 presidential campaign, was to paint the senator as a neocon warmonger and propagandist. Again, this was not an uncommon view among Democrats or the left at that moment, the degree of sincerity involved may be open to question on a case-by-case -case basis. She is right to apologize to McCain, but no one can claim Democrats were not generally gearing up to demonize him ahead of the 2008 primary season. Reid's most recent apology states, to be clear. I have the highest respect for Senator McCain as a public servant and patriot and wish him and his family the best," said Reid. I have reached out to Meghan McCain and will continue to do so. She is a former on-air colleague and I feel deeply for her and her family. I've also spoken openly about my evolution on many issues and know that I'm a better person today than I was over a decade ago. I am the daughter of immigrants and have worked to be a strong ally of these communities. There is no question in my mind that al-Qaeda perpetrated the 9-11 attacks or about Israel's right to its sovereignty. Except there is a mounting body of evidence that demonstrates Reid is merely sorry for being called out and her position is the typical progressive leftist hypocrisy. The Federalist notes, Reid attacked CNN's Wolf Blitzer for being too nice to Jews, and noted that Reid said then President of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was really on to something when he suggested that the Zionist regime of Israel should just relocate to Europe. The Daily Wire notes, embattled MSNBC host Joy Reid's now-defunct blog published multiple blog posts that promoted vicious attacks on the McCain family, anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, nasty personal attacks on people, doctored images, and more, according to several newly discovered posts reviewed by The Daily Wire. And in a Friday report first noted by Twitchy.com last July, IJR's Caleb Hull reports that Reid shared a conspiracy theory on Twitter about Jared Kushner, which came from an anime Nazi news website whose staff openly supports Hitler and posts extremist articles to this day.
IJR states, on July 12, 2017, MSNBC host Joy Reid shared a conspiracy theory on Twitter about Jared Kushner and his relationship with the Trump administration and a company called Genie Energy. However, the article she shared is from an anime Nazi news website, whose staff openly supports Hitler and posts extremist articles to this day. The tweet, as well as the original article on AnimeRight.News, have now been deleted, but thanks to the Internet Archive Wayback Machine, they've been saved. As Zero Hedge notes of the hypocrisy dash. Joy Ann Reed made homophobic, anti-Semitic blog posts, lied about it, got the FBI involved, and then promoted a Nazi website over Twitter, and somehow keeps her job. Samantha B. calls Ivanka Trump a feckless CNT on TBS, a comment which would have been approved by TBS management, and keeps her job despite two advertisers bailing. Bill Maher compared President Trump to an orangutan and kept his job. The Daily Show's Trevor Noah has made a ton of anti-Semitic tweets and kept his job. Roseanne Barr compares former Obama admin official Valerie Jarrett to an ape and loses her show within 24 hours. The message is clear, if you're going to be a bigot, just make sure you're a liberal first. And while it's perhaps notable to point out the glaring hypocrisy over the way controversial comments are dealt with depending on political affiliation, maybe everyone can just chill out over words, which unlike sticks and stones, don't actually harm anyone. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.